Hello friends, welcome to Photoshop video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood how do we work with Photoshop panels, Photoshop windows or Photoshop palettes. Also we understood how to create our own new workspace, how to reset a workspace, how to delete a workspace and various predefined Photoshop workspaces and their purpose. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss one of the most important Photoshop UI element that is Photoshop menu bar. Menu bar is one of the most important Photoshop UI element that appears at the top of the application when you launch the application. What you find in the menu bar. In the menu bar, you find here on the left hand side a Photoshop logo. If you click on that Photoshop logo, you find a context menu with few commands. And then you find various menus like file menu, edit menu, image menu, layer menu, type menu, select menu, filter menu, 3D menu, view menu, window menu and help menu. On the right hand side of the menu bar, you find some of the buttons like minimize, restore button and close button. This video tutorial is not a about in detail or in depth explanation of the menu bar because in one video tutorial we can't learn the complete Photoshop menus. This is all about where do you find what, what actually you find in the menu bar, okay? Because you should remember where you get what. Now I am going to discuss each of them little bit clearly. If I click on the Photoshop logo, you find a context menu popped up and what you find there is few commands like restore, minimize, maximize, close, what actually they are. At present, the Photoshop is in a maximized mode. I cannot change the size of the Photoshop. I cannot resize. You can see that I cannot resize. If I click on this Photoshop logo and click on restore, the size got reduced and now I can resize the Photoshop according to my requirement on the desktop. You can see that I am clicking and dragging these edges to modify the size of the Photoshop which is occupied on the desktop. If I go to the Photoshop logo and click on maximize, now the Photoshop is in maximize mode I cannot resize the Photoshop. Then if you click on close actually it closes the Photoshop and also here on the right hand side you can find Alt F4 that is a shortcut key for closing the Photoshop quickly. So Alt F4 or you just click on the close the close command will close the Photoshop application. To open a Photoshop application again back I double click on the Photoshop logo which is present on the desktop and here on the right hand side you find the similar button if you click on the minimize button, the Photoshop get minimized to the taskbar. Similarly, if I click on Photoshop which is minimized and it will get maximized back. And here you have a restore button. If you click on the restore button, of course you can resize the Photoshop according to your requirement. And then if you click on the maximize button, then the Photoshop get maximizes. And also there is a close button which closes the Photoshop application. I double click on the Photoshop icon which is available on the desktop to open the Photoshop again. Back. Now we have the Photoshop open. As I told here we have few set of menus with which you work most commonly and each menu is meant with some purpose. Every menu contains set of commands which are related to its name. That means the file menu has set of commands related to file. Creating a new file, opening a file, saving a file, closing a file, exiting from the Photoshop application, reverting a file, such a common file related things you find in the file menu. Similarly, if you go to edit menu, you find various commands related to edit. For example, cut, copy, paste, undo, redo and even some settings that you can perform on the Photoshop like color settings, keyboard shortcuts, menu modification, preference settings, right? And if you go to the next menu which is a image menu, there you find commands related to image. That means you can auto correct the tone, you can auto correct contrast, you can auto correct color, you can change the image size, you can change the canvas size, you can crop an image, you can trim an image, you can duplicate an image. So anything related to the image you find in the image menu. So you can change the image mode from one color mode to another color mode. You can adjust various image features. So anything related to the image you find in the image menu, you can see that. And if you go to the layer menu, you find commands related to the layers. That means you, you can create a new layer, you can duplicate a layer, you can delete a layer, you can rename a layer, you can apply some filter effects, layer styles, you can create smart objects, you can apply layer marks, you can group layers, you can ungroup layers. Layers, you can merge layers, you can link layers, everything related to the layers you find in the layer menu. 
If you go to the type, you find commands related to the type that is text. You can create a work path out of a type or a text. You can convert a type to a shape. You can rasterize a type layer. You can wrap the text. So anything related to the type you find in the type menu. You can extrude to 3D. You can convert a 2D text to a 3D text by using the extrude to 3D command. So anything related to the type you find in the type menu. And in the select menu you find commands related to the selections. You can select all. You can deselect. You can reselect. You can inverse selection. You can select all layers. You can find layers. You can select the elements by their color range. You can modify the selection by using the transform selection command. You can load a selection. You can save a selection. Anything related to the selection you find in the select menu. Similarly, if you go to the filter menu, you find commands related to the filter effects. You can apply a blur effect. You can apply a distort effect. You can pixelate. You can sharpen. You can render. You can apply a styles so many things even you find a filter gallery in the filter menu anything related to the effects you find in a filter menu friends if you go to the 3d menu you find various commands related to 3d so you can create a new 3d layer you can export a 3d layer you can create a new mesh from a layer and so many options you find in this menu which is related to 3d even you can make a work path from the 3d layer you can render so many options are there which is especially used by the 3d professionals and then if you go to the view menu you find various commands related to weaving an image or your Photoshop in a different way. For example, if you want to zoom in and into an image, you use a zoom in command. To zoom out, you use a zoom out command. You can set an image to fit on screen, actual pixel size. Even you can get a print size of the image, right? And you can change the screen modes of the Photoshop to various screen modes like a standard screen mode, full screen mode with menu bar, full screen mode, right? You can weave and hide extras. You can weave and hide rules you can weave and hide guides so anything related to displaying or hiding commands you find in this view menu and if you go to the window menu already we have learned the window menu what you find in the window menu is anything related to the Photoshop windows you can show and hide various windows right you can save the workspaces you can find various extension windows so anything related to the windows you find in the window menu and if you click on the help menu you find information related to the help about the Photoshop you can get the online help of a Photoshop you can update the Photoshop right various resources that you can get which is available on the online in the help menu for learning purpose that is what you find in the Photoshop menu bar it is most important to know where you find what Every Photoshop menu contains set of commands I told you. Of course, every command is going to have a name. And there are some commands if you observe carefully, they have the name as well as associated keyboard shortcuts. If you want to become a Photoshop professional, then you must and should remember these keyboard shortcuts because keyboard shortcuts help you to save a lot of time. A research says that if you remember keyboard shortcuts, keyboard shortcut reduce or save 50% of your work time. So you should remember keyboard shortcuts. So let's have a little bit notes here I have written for you guys. Menu bar is one of the most important Photoshop UI element appears at the top of the application of course it contains various menus like a file edit image layer type select filter 3d weave window and help menu every menu contains set of commands respective to its name of course we have seen every menu contains set of commands respective to its name file menu contains commands related to files edit menu contains commands related to editing image menu contains commands related to image layer menu contains commands related to layers select menu contains commands related to select view menu contains commands related to weaving and window menu contains commands related to windows and help menu contains commands related to the help every command in a photoshop has a name some of the commands have name as well as associated keyboard shortcut if you want to become a professional designer, then you must and should remember these keyboard shortcuts because they help you to achieve some tasks quickly and save a lot of time. Here I have listed some of the most commonly used commands from some of the menus and um, 
you have to remember these keyboard shortcuts they are very easy to remember and they are self explanatory too for example the new command has the shortcut key control n that means if you want to create a new document you can go to the file menu and click on the new it opens a window which help you to create a new document or you can simply press control n control n when you press you find this window automatically you need not to go to the file and click on the new okay that is about the shortcut keys what they do and how you can use the shortcut keys and also one of the important point you need to note here is there are three dots available in front of the new command open command browse in a bridge open as what these dots indicate is uh, if you click on the new actually it opens a window that's a meaning of the three dots the three dot indicates that if you click on those commands you get a window pop up for customization purpose understanding so that's the meaning of dots in the menu and open has a shortcut key control o close the shortcut key is control w close all windows is control alt w for save you use control s for save as you use control shift s save for web control shift alt s to revert a file we use f12 shortcut key to get a print we press control p for exiting the photoshop application we use control q if you go to the edit menu for undo and redo only one step use control z undo one step redo one step use control z if you want to undo many steps we use control alt z if you want to redo many steps control shift z we use cut control x copy control c paste control v free transform tool if you want to get we use control t shortcut key for preferences we use control k for color settings we use control shift k for keyboard shortcuts if you want to modify keyboard shortcuts or modify menus then use control shift alt k for keyboard shortcuts for menus control shift alt m similarly in the image menu for auto tone we use control shift alt shift l auto contrast control shift alt l auto color control shift b for changing the image size control alt i for changing the canvas size control alt c if you go to layer menu there are some commands with uh, few shortcut keys which we use most commonly creating a new layer we use control shift n control n creates a new document whereas control shift n is used to create a new layer to duplicate layer we use control j to group layers we use control g to ungroup layers we use control shift g to merge layers we use control e and then the select menu we find some of the commands and shortcut keys which we use most commonly select all control a to deselect we use control d to reselect we use control shift d to inverse we use control shift i to make a inverse selection we use control shift i for view menu you can find in the view menu zoom in control plus plus zoom out control minus fit on screen control 0 actual pixels control 1 to show and hide extras control h to show and hide rulers we use control plus r to lock guides we use control alt semicolon to snap to guides we use control shift semicolon to change screen modes we use f key to show and hide brush panel we use f5 to show and hide color panel we use f6 to display and hide layers panel we use f7 to display and hide info panel we use f8 to display and hide actions panel we use alt f9 to get a online help we press f1 key so these are some of the shortcut keys that you must and should remember friends i suggest you people to remember where you get what and what are the shortcut keys for some of the commands which we use most commonly all of the photoshop menus their commands and shortcut keys are most important but some of the commands that we have listed here are most commonly used that make your life easier i hope you guys have understood what is photoshop menu bar menu bar is one of the most important ui element 
which appears at the top of the application. It has set of menus. Each menu contains set of commands related to its name and every command has a name and some of the commands have a name and associated shortcut keys. Shortcut keys make your life easier. They save a lot of time and the dot 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 indicates if you click on the command, it opens a window and the arrow mark. Sometimes you find the arrow mark here at the corner. The arrow mark or this small triangle indicates if you click on the command, you find a sub menu. There you find more commands and uh, most commonly use keyboard shortcuts. I suggest you people to remember and also we understand how do we customize Photoshop preferences? How do we customize or modify keyboard shortcuts or menus set color settings according to our requirement and we discuss each of these commands in detail. Okay, it is not necessary to buy hard these shortcut keys. Once you start using the Photoshop more and more and more, if you practice more on Photoshop, automatically these shortcut keys will be buried in your mind. So I suggest you people to practice more and more and more to be become a professional designer. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. Make a note and remember these shortcut keys. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial for more information.